So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create slow motion videos with the CapCut video editing app. And yeah, let's begin. So CapCut creates two ways for you to make slow motion videos. And then with the first method, you have to plan out the video like the way you want the slow motion to be and then you make cuts. So for example, this video, I'm just giving it a play. See the dog jumps on the girl's back. So I want that part where the dog is in the air to be in slow motion because it's going to be dramatic. <laughs> So I'm going to make a cut when the dog is about to jump right around here. So I'll tap on the clip and then make a cut. And then I'll make another cut when the dog lands on her back. So here, make another cut. And now we have this clip in the middle. Let me just zoom in a bit. So this is the clip that we want to be in slow motion or that I want to be in slow motion. For you, it may be different. With the clip selected, you tap on speed. And see, these are the two methods of creating slow motion videos. So we'll start with this one. You tap on it and you have this slider here. So this slider is going to make the video go fast if you slide it to the right or make it go slow if you slide it to the left. So usually I would not suggest sliding it all the way to the left because it's going to make the video look choppy. So let's give it a look so you guys can see. So that's not very pleasant to look at. So. Yeah, so I'll suggest you drag it to maybe 0.3 or 0.4. Let's try 0.3. And make sure you tap on this and select better quality. And then you tap on this check mark here. And give CapCut a while to make the slow motion look very nice. Alright, so it's done. So let's give it a play so you guys can see. Very nice. Alright, so that's the first way of uh, making slow motion videos with um, CapCut. So let me show you guys the second way of doing it. So with the second way, you need to have your clip selected. And this time, you don't have to make any cuts. You just need to tap on the clip. So after selecting your clip, you tap on speed. And this time, you select curve. And then you select custom and edit. Alright, so as you can see, this is a straight line. And this line represents the video that we have. And um, you have this black line here that you can drag to see um, different parts of the videos because each dot, as you can see here, represents a specific time in the video. So if you drag a dot up, it's going to speed up the video. And if you drag it down, it's going to slow the video down. So from the first example, we want the slow motion to begin when the dog is about to jump. So we drag this black line to that part. And uh, as you can see, this is where the dog is about to jump. So we can tap on this to create a black dot. And uh, we drag the black line to where the dog lands and we create another dot. We can drag this dot down and this one down as well so that um, this part stays down. I wish there was a way to zoom in, but there is no way to zoom in. So you just have to just work with it the way it is. I hope they make an update. So if I give it a play, see how the slow motion happens. As usual, you tap on this, you tap on better quality. So from here on, you can go through the video and anywhere you want the slow motion to begin, you create a dot and you bring it down. So uh, here also, I want the slow motion. Yeah, right here when the dog is in the air, I want the slow motion to begin. And uh, this is where the dog gets back down, so I want another beat, and then from here on, the video goes back up, so it speeds up again. So after you're done creating all your curves, then you tap on this, and you wait for cap cuts to apply the slow motion. So it is done, and now if I give it a play, you're going to see slow motion in the video. Alright, so I have this video here that will show you guys how to reverse videos using CapCut. If you found this video helpful, then you're probably going to find it helpful as well. Anyways, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.